بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear viewers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I would like to welcome you in this episode which inshallah today we're going to try to demonstrate ablution wudu in preparation for our salah our prayer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had commanded us to wash before the prayer this washing with water this is what we call it wudu it is obligatory for every Muslim before he pray or perform his prayer to wash a certain limbs of his body and what I'm going to demonstrate now how to wash and to prepare for the Salah we're using water and we're going to start to wash saying Bismillah before you make your wudu it is very necessary that you have the intention intention is a form of ibadah which is done by the heart has nothing to do with the tongue you don't say anything out loud it's something in the heart that you intend to perform such action which is the washing for the prayer you say bismillah take water washing your two hands by washing the right hand first and the left hand to the rest again take water in your left hand you wash your right hand your left hand in and out to the rest Now taking wudu for washing the mouth and the nose. You snip the water. You take the water with your right hand into your mouth and the rest of it into your nose. You snip it in. And after this you rinse your mouth right and left in your mouth. And after this you spit it out and you blow your nose with the left hand one two up to three times again water in your right hand take it to your mouth again into your mouth Now you watch your face. Watching the face is going to be from here to the end of your chin, from the right to the left of both sides of your face. Again. You notice that I try to cover every part of my face, rubbing the face, making sure that the water goes through your beard and go every part in your face. As I said, one and two is enough, sufficient. You can do it up to three times. It is the sunnah to take some water and do it under your beard. Now comes washing the right hand. We're going to rush, wash the right hand all the way and the right arm all the way to the elbow, include the elbow. Watch now. If I take the water like this, some spots will be dry here. So it is very important that you use the left hand to cover every part, make sure nothing dry. Again, the second time, taking the water all the way 
Noun, an ab. The third time. After you cover the right arm with water, now you go to the left arm and do the same thing. It is very important using the right hand over the right arm, watching the end here, not to leave any spot dry. Again. After washing both arms, I'm going to wipe over my head with a little bit of water. And when you wipe the head, you start from the beginning, going all the way to the end. When you reach the end of your head, you come back again to the front. With the same water, you stick your tip fingers inside your ear. And you go around your thumb will wash from outside. After washing the head, wiping the head and wiping the ear, you wash your right foot. It is very important to make sure that every part of your foot been washed thoroughly with the water, cleaning between your toes. Again, after the right foot will be the left foot. Again, cleaning between the toes. By this, we had made, this is the completion of the wudu. We started with washing the hands, rinsing the mouth, nose, face, right arm, include the elbow, left one, all the way covering, wiping over the head, back and forth, the ears, washing the right foot and after this the left foot. This is the completion of the wudu which is preparation for the prayer. It is recommended for the Muslim after he washes he will say the dua Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله He may add اللهم اجعلني من التوابين واجعلني من المتطهرين By forming the ablution now you are ready for your prayer الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله حي على الصلاة 
حي على الصلاة حي على الفلاح حي على الفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله But in the same manner as you have seen me doing. Therefore, we will explain the Prophet's manner of prayer, inshallah. In preparation for the prayer, the worshipper must perform wudu, ablution. Without wudu, the prayer is invalid and will not be accepted. To perform the complete ablution, adopting the methods of our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, it is necessary to make niyat, which is a declaration of intention. The worshipper should declare in niyat that the act of performing wudu is for the purpose of cleanliness and preparation for the prayer. Niyat should be made in the heart because it is an action of the heart and not of the tongue. Niyat by words is not approved by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. After niyat, the worshipper begins the wudu by saying, Bismillah. This means, in the name of Allah. There are several steps to performing wudu. Performing most of these actions three times is recommended, but one or two times is sufficient for wudu. First, Wash both of your hands up to the wrist thrice, making sure that no part of the hands is left dry. Start with the right hand and cleanse the left hand afterward. Second, rinse your mouth three times, taking the water to your mouth with the right hand. Third, clean the nose by sniffing water into it from the right palm and then ejecting the water with the left hand three times. The same handful of water that is used to cleanse the mouth is also used for the nose. Fourth, wash your face thrice from ear to ear and forehead to chin, making sure that no part of the face is left dry. Next, wash your forearms up to and including the elbow thrice, beginning with the right forearm, making sure that no part of them is left dry. Next, rub your head with water once. You can do this by wetting the hands and wiping the head with them. Begin with the forehead and take them to the nape of the neck, after which you bring them back to the forehead.
with the same water used to clean the head, cleanse your ears by inserting the wet tips of the index fingers into them. Twist them around the folds of the ears, then pass the thumb behind the ears from the bottom upwards. Finally, wash the feet up to the ankles thrice, beginning with the right foot. Make sure that no parts of the feet are left dry, especially between the toes. After you finish wudu, say the following dua or supplication. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wahdahu la sharika lah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. This means I testify that there is no deity worthy of worship except Allah alone. No partner beside him and I testify that Muhammad is his slave and messenger.